It's only been a couple months since the last refresh of Apple's MacBook Pros, but today we have a brand new entry-level 13-inch model. This MacBook Pro is the first entry-level 13-inch model to feature a touch bar, touch ID, and it's even got an upgraded 1.4 gigahertz quad-core eighth-generation Intel Core i5 processor. Has anything else changed below this space grade case? There's only one way to find out, and that's to tear it down. If you'd like to know what tools we use during this teardown, we'll have them all listed in the description below. Spoiler alert, if you have one of our ProTech toolkits, you'll have everything you need to disassemble your MacBook Pro. We open up this MacBook Pro using the same process as previous versions. Remove the pentalobe screws securing the back panel, release the clips holding it in place, and finally, slide it back and off. Getting our first look at this machine, we can see that it resembles its predecessor. You know, the one with the useful function keys. Disassembly for this machine remains the same as before, with the first step being to disconnect the screwed down battery press contact. To get the logic board out, we first need to disconnect several cables held in place with brackets, including the headphone jack touch ID assembly, the trackpad cable, the Thunderbolt IO port assembly, the touch bar cable, and finally, the Wi-Fi antennas. The logic board only has four screws and one hex nut left holding it in place. But wait, there's one more cable at the top that needs to be removed before we can lift it out. Removing the heatsink reveals the 1.4 GHz quad-core Intel Core i5 processor, and elsewhere on the board, we can see the Apple T2 coprocessor, the 64 GB of flash storage with another 64 GB on the other side, and the 4 GB of the LP DDR3 RAM, also with another 4 gigs on the other side. Unfortunately, but not surprisingly, both the SSD and RAM are integrated into the logic board, so there's no hope for future upgrades there. The speakers and fan are thankfully just screwed in place, making them easy enough to remove, and then we're left with the headphone jack and Touch ID sensor, which are equally easy to get out. It's nice to see that at least a few modular and easily replaceable components remain in this model. But then there's the battery, which is still glued firmly in place. We've seen Apple use adhesive pull tabs on many different kinds of devices before, so why they're so stuck on gluing these things to the machine's upper case remains a mystery. This battery is rated at 58.2 watt hours, which slightly exceeds the old function key model, which came in at 54.5 watt hours. Lastly, we take a quick peek underneath the key to see that this MacBook Pro did in fact get the updated butterfly mechanism we saw in the MacBook Pros released in May. We did a deep dive into what we think makes this version better than the last and included some materials analysis. So if you haven't seen that, we'll post a link in the description below. While this updated 13 inch MacBook simplifies the MacBook Pro line, making all of them have a touch bar, it doesn't do anything to improve its repairability or upgradability. So with that in mind, we scored the mid 2019 13 inch MacBook Pro a two out of 10. And here's why. On the upside, the trackpad can be removed without disturbing the battery. But on the downside, proprietary pentalobe screws continue to be hostile to repair. The battery assembly is still very solidly glued into the case, complicating replacement of a consumable. Soldered down RAM limits the upgradability and longevity. And finally, the SSD is no longer replaceable. But as it was previously a proprietary drive, the newly soldered storage has about the same effect for the average fixer. 